be discussing a little bit about some dissertations. We'll be talking about Bizaki's May 26 dissertation on bond referendums. It's called Bond Referendums Reloaded, about how a bond passes after it's been failed. And we'll be using Bloomberg and Volpe's 2012 uh, documentation and analysis of Chapter 1 dissertations. We'll be breaking it up, how those dissertations are seen, and then further breaking it up into Benzaki's own dissertation. Thank you. Well, we just got back from Old High. That was built in 1922. So let's continue. Bloomberg and Volpe, 2012. Three major parts of the dissertations chapter one. First is the research problem. It's one of the major areas. It needs to be specific. It needs to be important, authentic, and beneficial to others. So they're looking at your research and saying, they're thinking to themselves, yeah, this is something I can do. Next one, the purpose statement. It has to have a major objective of the study. It gets in how the problem will be addressed. It needs to be clear and concise. And finally, this kind of helps you determine your inquiry, your site, and their participants. And finally, the last part, the research questions. As you know, you'll start asking certain questions depending on if it's a qualitative, a quantitative, or a study analysis. So those questions need to be clear and specific. The questions should drive answers for your problem. And the questions, they need to be deliberate. Kind of help with the research problem. Whew. So we just got back from Zundi. That was built in 1926. We're currently at Crockett. Crockett was built in 1925. So let's continue. In addition, Bloomberg and Volpe in 2012 gives us a checklist of other parts of an introduction in a chapter one dissertation. There's a research approach, a researcher perspectives, research assumptions, the rationale and significance of the research, and finally, a definition of terms. Definition of terms can be very helpful because there's a lot of jargon that we use, and I know in education, that some people might not understand. So a definition of terms can help uh, those who are not familiar with those terminology to become aware of it. Okay. Well, welcome to Ben Franklin Elementary. It was built in 1926. So now let's look at Ben Zagging. In 2016, in his dissertation, he did use the three major components. Instead of calling it a research problem, though, he called it for the need for the study. He was trying to discuss that, how to pass a bond after it fails. And the purpose for the whole thing was, well, there's need of schools, then how do we do that? If, especially if you're failed the first time, you want to do it again. And finally, he did have a lot of research. And his questions were very directed towards the study of an analysis. Welcome to Rider High School. It was built in 1961. So let's continue. This is how he broke up chapter one. Current status, which was back in 2008, when he started the dissertation. The role of the referendum, why he was looking at this. Then he started talking about referendum elections and what they're used for. Then he talked about the need for this study in particular. Finally, we get to the purpose of the study, which was very similar to earlier ones, research questions. The local context, it was located in Milwaukee. The larger economic context, we had a little discussion of 2008, 2008 was the uh, Great Recession. The methodology of how he conducted his study and kind of the limitations of the study. Welcome to Jefferson Elementary, which was also built in the 1960s. So how was he being created? Well, he kind of described the time of the study, which was in 2008. And that was really the Great Recession. Some makes it very interesting. The breakdown of demographics kind of, kind of helps you to see where the kids are at and what type of school, what type of, a, of an area that he's described in his own dissertation. And finally, the limitations of the study. Because then once you see that limitation of the study, you can see if you have that within your own dissertation. So those are my areas that I thought was kind of informative. So welcome to Ben Milam Elementary. It was built in 1960s, but then had a facelift during the bond 2008. So areas of improvement, or places where I felt that this dissertation kind of fell short. One area that I was excited about, because he did some data. He looked at lowest attendance rate for his little cluster, lowest post-graduation college rate, lowest graduation rate, the highest dropout rate. So that kind of shows a need for, for bonds. And, 
you compare yourself to other school districts, that sounds great. The thing that I didn't care for is that he didn't compare himself to other school districts. He compared himself to athletic conference. It's a lot, really? And finally, the thing that I think you should use was an index of terminology. There's a lot of words that we use in education and probably with bonds. Index of terminology would have helped some people to kind of have an understanding of the words that we use. Welcome to the, to the Career Education Center. It was built in 2017. So the final part of this is lessons learned from this uh, paper. Make sure it's relatable. Use data that's reliable and makes sense. Pose the question of why are you doing this? What's the importance of your dissertation? For the bond, keep percentage of building ages. That was pretty good. That was good information. And finally, explain the information in terms that people can understand. Say you don't